Hello, my name is Sharon Fitzpatrick and welcome to my YouTube channel Lifestyle with Sharon. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make chicken curry with noodles, a delicious creamy curry sauce with noodles and a few vegetables. So, so enjoy the video and if you do like it, do give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends on social media. And of course, if you haven't done so already, please do subscribe to the channel. It's free of charge. And if you hit that notification bell, it just gives you that gentle reminder of when the video comes out. So enjoy. So we're just going to cut our carrot up. Now this is quite a large carrot, so I've just cut it in half. And then I'm going to cut diagonally across like this. Nice thin slices. So we end up with something like that. I mean, it doesn't really matter what shape, but it, nice and thin, whatever it is you decide to do. Right, so now we're just going to do half moons on our onion. So we'll just cut the end off, not the root end, and thin slices. And just making sure that your fingers are bent so that you won't cut yourself. And that will act as a guide of how thick or thin you want your slices. So you'll end up with something like that. And then we're just going to finely chop some cabbage. So into slices and then just cut along this way. Right, so we'll just chop off the end of our spring onion. So if you want to cut it on the bias, you're just cutting it diagonally. Make sure you've got a nice sharp knife. So that kind of leaves you with this shape. I just think it looks nicer. Nobody's going to really mind, but that's just what I do. Now we just chop up our chicken. You can either do it with a knife or you can do like I do and just get a pair of scissors and just cut some strips of chicken. Or you could dice it into cubes, whichever, it doesn't really matter. Just get nice little bits of chicken anyway. Okay, so into a hot wok or a deep frying pan, you want to just add a little bit of oil. And into your hot oil, you want to add two tablespoons of curry paste. Doesn't matter what type, whatever one you want to use. I've got actually chicken tikka here, but you can do whichever one. So we'll just give that a mix into the olive oil. And then we add our onions. We'll add a bit of salt. And we'll add a little bit of tomato puree in. About two tablespoons roughly. And you let this cook for about two or three minutes. Then you add your chicken. And if you get the two wooden spoons, it's actually easier to mix around. Now you don't have to add vegetables, but I like to add vegetables with most of my cooking. So I'm putting the carrots in. It's quite dry at this stage. So now I'm going to add some coconut milk. Okay, so just add all your coconut milk in. Just give this a good stir. It's starting to come together and you can see that it's not as thick now. It's not as dry now. And it gives it that beautiful creaminess. And look at the colour. I just love making curries. When it all comes together. It just looks so nice and it smells delicious. So I'm going to add the cabbage. Again, you don't have to put vegetables and you don't have to put carrots and cabbage. If you do decide to put vegetables, you can do whatever ones you like. I'd love to hear in the comments if you love to have vegetables in your curry. And if so, what ones do you like? And we'll let this cook away for about 15 minutes until the chicken and the vegetables are cooked. So we'll put half a teaspoon of turmeric, half a teaspoon of cumin, half a teaspoon of paprika, and a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. I would say a quarter teaspoon of ginger, but I just realized my pot is empty, but that's what you would put in it. Quarter of chili flakes, unless you want it really hot, you can put more in. And either a quarter or half a teaspoon of curry powder, depending on how hot you like it. So we'll just stir that all in. If you don't like a really hot, spicy curry, you don't have to put the chili flakes in. And you don't have to put the cayenne pepper. And you can put a bit less curry powder. And curry paste, you can maybe put one tablespoon if you didn't like it too hot. And coriander. I actually love coriander, so I'm actually going to put a tablespoon of coriander. And 
fresh coriander is actually really nice. But the, the dried herbs are, and spices are easy and they can just be stored in your cupboard ready for use. But if you can grow your own herbs and spices, then they're just fresh whenever you need them. Right, so as you can see, this has been cooking for about 15 minutes and it looks delicious. Look at the colour in that. So now that that's done, I'm going to go over here and there's a pot of boiling water and I've got some egg noodles. So I'm going to cook them to the packet's instructions on in this case it's four minutes. So I'll just break it in half so it's easier. They really don't take long to cook. So I've just put the noodles in because this is ready now. So at the last minute of the cooking, I add the spring onions. Another nice vegetable to put in this is pak choy. That goes really well as well. But there's so many different things you can do. Right, so we just put our noodles into a sieve to drain the water out of it and then just get some hot water from the kettle and just give it a quick rinse. So now I find the best way is to put the noodles into your curry. So if you didn't even want the chicken or the vegetables, you can just do the curry sauce with noodles and have curried noodles. That's really nice. Right, so we're just going to dish this up. So here is your delicious curried noodles. So I'm just going to pick them up with the tongs. That's the easiest way to dish this up. Look at that. Make sure to get some of your chicken and your vegetables too. Thank you for watching today's video on how to make lovely creamy chicken curry with noodles. I look forward to doing more videos for you.